much. How's everybody feeling? You guys staying hydrated, staying cool? Kinda. Well, we put out our first album back in 2009, and we've got a brand new album coming out this summer. It'll be out July 31st. And so we've got some new songs to play for you. We're gonna play a new one now if that's cool. Y'all cool with that? This is a song all about drinking to forget somebody. This is called Can't Shake It.
we've been a band now for about five years, and uh, it's just been such an incredible and amazing journey for us, and uh, we're very, very happy to be standing up here on this stage right now, and uh, we know for sure that we would not be doing that if it weren't for our incredible fans and the people who come and see us, so thank you all so much for being here. Uh, we really love you all so much. Back, back in 2007, uh, Mike and I here are brothers. We moved to Nashville from Wilmington, North Carolina. And we came here with nothing but a guitar and a bag of clothes. And we had no plans and no connections. And we were just chancing it. We played in North Carolina for about 10 years. And we thought it was time to move to Music City. So we come across this young lady over here singing at a songwriter night. And we just thought she had the greatest voice. And we started saying to ourselves, man, maybe we can get this girl to join in a group with us. So we did what anybody would do back in 2007. We stalked her out on MySpace. <laughs> Yes, I did think it was totally creepy, but uh, I decided to take a chance. I responded back to these guys, and uh, we got together and we started playing music together, and it ended up being the best decision that I ever made in my life. And, uh, and I remember we used to, um, we used to, uh, well, also the other element to the story that we're failing to mention here was the fact that these guys were homeless. <laughs> so I, I did what any person, actually no, I, it was weird. I let them move in with me into my tiny little one bedroom apartment. So. It's like right there, y'all. You can see it if you look back. That's Rachel's building over there. <laughs> she let us live with her. We used to walk down here by the river every day. and Every night we'd have a band practice just on Rachel's living room floor. And we had our one acoustic guitar. And we said, man, someday if we get our stuff together. We're going to be able to plug in, we're going to have microphones, and we're going to have a big-ass crowd to play for. Five years later, here we are. So we thought we'd do a song for you today to kind of uh, show you what life was like back in 2007, playing on Rachel's living room floor. This is a song off our new album. It's one of our favorites. We hope you like it. This one's called Carolina Rose from my North Carolina people. <laughs>
charting single of our whole career. Yeah. A couple weeks ago we got to play this song on a little TV show called The Bachelorette. Anybody seen that before? That was like all girls. There was one dude that was like, me, no way. So yes, we played this song for The Bachelorette on her first date and it was a nice thing. This is a song about first dates, so it was kind of fitting for that scenario. We gotta thank Cape Country Radio so much for uh, their support of this song. I think it's number 11 this week. Thank y'all so much for listening to it and requesting it. Make sure you sing along if you know it. This is called Kiss You Goodnight.
It's the complete opposite. So, yeah. this next and last song is about watching hot girls shake it. You know what I'm saying? And there are many country songs about watching country girls shake it, and this is definitely one of them. Okay? It's called Wanna Take You Home. Oh, 
Send me free.